Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a spring walkthrough garden tour. We have two raised beds in what's going to be our hoop house. We just have the frame up now. Um, we do a lot of companion planning to take up the least amount of space as possible and get the most bang for our buck when planting. First raised bed, we have some broccoli rob here. Behind that we have regular broccoli, some Spanish yellow onions, flat Dutch cabbage, Lisbon bunching onions, and Brussels sprouts in the back. In front, of, in front of that bed we have our potato grow bags. I have three different types of potatoes growing at the moment. In the second bed we have some cauliflower and interplanted I have some calendula to help repel pests. Behind that, I have two different types of bush beans. I have Blue Lake and Kalima. Some more broccoli rob, and then another type of yellow candy onion. Behind that, we have carrots and lettuce. So now we're outside of our hoop house. We have some other raised beds here. Um, in this raised bed, we have our asparagus and strawberries. I've also interplanted some calendula, again, to help with pests. We're dealing with asparagus beetles right now, and that is supposed to repel them. I also have some blueberry plants and strawberry plants in containers. In this bed, I have my fall planted garlic. Back here, we have a couple rows of snow peas. And then in between the rows, I planted carrots and lettuce just to make the best use of the space. In this bed, I have all of these are sunflowers and then three cucumber plants. Eventually the cucumbers will grow up the stalks of the sunflowers. Along our fence line, we have multiple berry bushes. These are Nanking cherry bushes. Here we have our thornless blackberries. Um, a few types of raspberries, and in between the bushes, you will see mint popping up. The mint helps repel rabbits from the berry bushes. We have two other uh, raised beds. This one has two types of zucchini in it, a golden one and a green one. Uh, we have another raised bed that we are still working on getting together. I have some logs and cardboard and everything to help fill it up. We're getting some dirt later this week and that's where our tomatoes and peppers will go. At the end of our row of berries, we have three elderberry bushes. Um, these two right here are American elderberry. And I don't remember what the third one is, but this one here is actually um, a shoot that came up off of the larger plant that we moved over so that we'd have another bush. Here we have our herb garden. I have some cooking herbs and medicinal herbs. There's two types of oregano, two types of thyme, two types of basil. I also have things like self-heal, motherwort, marshmallow, and chamomile. So in this uh, is actually one of my flower beds, but I've interplanted some healing herbs. I have St. John's wort, echinacea, uh, sage and lavender. We also have a grapevine growing up our fence back here. It's the one that I was having some issues with. You'll see in some of my shorts. Here we have two mini urban apple trees. We have, I believe it's tangy green and tasty red. Um, these will only get about three foot wide. And as you can see, there's a bunch of grass growing up around these. We had some baby bunnies in there. I'm not sure still if they're there or not, but we didn't want to disturb them. Thank you for coming along on our spring garden tour. Make sure to subscribe and follow so that you can keep getting updates of how the garden progresses throughout the year.